breaks welcome so i've had this question several times from family friends or work colleagues what is the bloody difference between montal's intense cafe and montal's ristretto intense cafe i am going to try and break it down as much as i can for you guys in my opinion and why i think they're actually similar but very different so I've made a couple of notes here and I've made sure that I've worn both of these fragrances for about the last seven days. These were already in my collection. I was very familiar with them, but doing the review, I wanted to make sure that I had a refresher. And so I wore this one for three days and about this one for four-ish days. If you're wondering why one is so much bigger than the other, only because the 50 ml was the only one that was in stock. I uh, would have bought a 100ml bottle as well of the extrait version, but it's the only one I could get at the time. So I have sprayed the test strip with the Ristretto Intense Cafe. Now this one here, it starts off very dark and it stays dark pretty much through the entirety of the fragrance. The roasted coffee beans are definitely more prominent in this one than the original Intense Cafe. It's definitely more coffee and rose heavy. I actually find Ristretto to be a little bit more unisex or masculine leaning over the original Intense Cafe. There is definitely a reduction in vanilla in the Ristretto version. And as I said before, the Ristretto is an extrait version, whereas the Intense Cafe is an EDP. Okay, so now I've got the Intense Cafe OG version on the scent strip here. And already, just from going from this one to this one, for me, there is quite a massive difference. This one is so much darker, so much moodier, and that coffee note is so profound and definitely there. I mean, it's there from beginning, mid and end. It's pretty much all about coffee and rose, but mainly coffee in, in the Ristretto. I think the reason that the Ristretto lent a little bit more unisex or masculine to me was because of those really dark, moody, roasted coffee bean notes that are so prominent through it. Okay, so this one is the Intense Cafe, and already, after I've sprayed it, it's already kind of drying down to this really yummy, sweet, jammy rose. Whereas with the Ristretto, I honestly, I know I can smell rose in it, but it's really not a main player in the fragrance. Whereas in the Intense Cafe, it is certainly one of the key players, if not probably the key player. After the coffee dissipates with Intense Cafe, it almost dries down to a creamy, lactonic, rosy mocha coffee. And on the dry down of Intense Cafe, it becomes this yummy, candied rose vanilla scent. Whereas with Ristretto, again, it's all about the coffee. It's coffee, coffee, coffee with this one. This one, I feel, honors the rose a little bit more and also those beautiful vanilla notes. Okay, so smelling them side by side, it's basically, that is all about coffee. That is all about a little coffee with the jammy rose, the sweet scent and the vanilla as well. So as I mentioned earlier, I find the Ristretto Intense Cafe to be a little bit more masculine or yeah, masculine leaning. It's certainly, I, I own it and I wear it. So it's not impossible for a lady to wear this. If she likes it, wear it. I just think that it's the darkness of those coffee beans, the fact that the rose isn't really front and center like with Intent, the original Intense Cafe. It doesn't even really have those vanilla sweet notes in it either. It is all about dark moody coffee here. Whereas here, this feels much more feminine, but even unisex with that beautiful, yes, lactonic creamy coffee note but also that jammy rose with the vanilla. It's just absolutely yummy and I love both. People ask me, do I need both? Now, the answer is no, despite the fact that they are different from one another, they're not that crazy different that you, know, you have to have both. Basically, if you were picking, this is how I would pick. 
If you want a more intense coffee note and you don't want all that vanilla, sweet, uh, rosy scents, or you're not a big rose fan, go the Ristretto Intense. I think you will really enjoy that coffee bean bomb if you're a coffee lover. If you like the rosy candy quality of the combination of the coffee, then I would go the Intense Cafe, the OG. This one is definitely sweeter. It feels more like tonic and creamy. The rose is certainly front and center along with the coffee. And even as the fragrance dries down, it becomes less about the coffee and more about the rose and that candied vanilla. So if you want that sweetness and that floral element to it as well, go Intense Coffee. Go Intense Coffee. <laughs> Go Intense Cafe. Okay, everyone, so I hope that I've been able to answer anybody's questions out there that they had about these two fragrances. I know it can be really confusing when they have similar names, similar scent notes, and people say they're very similar, which they definitely are, but if you look and smell these fragrances, they are actually quite different from one another. So I hope I've been able to assist any of you guys out there puzzled by these fragrances if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to post it in the comments below i will definitely get back to you if you have your own opinions or any thoughts or anything about these fragrances yourself please again post it in the comments below i love hearing from you guys and i hope to see you again really soon take care